The next thing I'd like to go over with you guys is going to be composition. Now, to kind of review composition, ladies and gentlemen, if you had f of x equals x plus 7, and if I said f of negative 2, what would you do with that negative 2? Plug it in for x, right? That is now your new input. Does everybody agree with me? Right? What about if I did it if I chose a different variable? Or let's do let's do like 3y. Then what do you do with that 3y? Place it in for the x, right? Doesn't change really, can't really do anything though. Just becomes that, right? Does that make sense? What if I did f of g of x? What would you then, then, then do with the g of x? Plug it in. Trying to get the pattern going on for you guys. So yes, it would be g of x plus 7. Does everybody kind of see whatever is the input, whatever you plug in for the input, you plug that in for it as your input variable into your um, function. Does that make sense? So the rule, so there's two things that I had you guys do. One of the things I wrote you guys down is your two notes. I said g of f of x. What that means is taking the f of x function, I'm actually going to use red here or green, taking that function and plugging it in to the g of x function. That's what that notation means. You take the f of x function and you plug it into the g of x function. So the way that we say that is g of f of x g of f of x. So the O is kind of like the of you can think of them as. Okay, So do I know what my, so in reality, all I'm simply doing is instead of my input value, if g of f of x, now wherever I have an x, I'm going to plug in f of x. So in reality, I really have f of x minus 1. Do you guys agree with me? Now, what is f of x? What is actually f of x equal? Well, that's this huge thing over here, right? So that's going to be 2x squared plus x minus 3 minus 1. Well, now can I simplify this? Sure, of course you can. Does that make sense? Kind of? Más o menos? 